Praise the Lord. Today I'm asking a question to you. Will you face the problem bravely? Second Timothy chapter 1 verse 7. When the situation is very easy, we can face it happily and we want to be in that situation. But the circumstances become very tough. We want to run away from that. So let us see how to face the circumstances bravely using Second Timothy chapter 1 verse 7. Second Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 says, God did not give us the cowardly spirit, but the spirit of power, love and good judgment. If you have the spirit of power, love and good judgment or um, self-discipline, then you can face the problem bravely. If you have the cowardly spirit you will certainly run away from the circumstance let us see how to face the problem with the help of um with the by using the two characters like timothy and paul because um, this little was this letter was written, was written by paul to timothy what was the condition of uh, uh, timothy now here the timothy the condition of timothy is a pastor in the church of efficiency what's the condition of paul paul was in the roman prison was the second imprisonment um, now the, under the uh, king nero the king nero emperor nero is going to execute him certainly but in this situation he's calling and he's, uh, he's, uh, timothy as a son and he's writing a letter to him and he's telling that uh, he has to come and visit him because um, he is getting gold, getting cold in the dungeon, and urged him to come before winter. Because um, uh, he uh, and he has to bring the warm coat. Um, Paul left at Tro Trova, and he wanted him to bring Paul's book and parchment, perhaps to do some further reading and perhaps some, some writing also. Even though he knows that he, uh, the King Nero is going to uh, Emperor Nero is going to kill him, he wants to continue his ministry and urging Timothy to come and visit before winter. And Timothy was naturally timid in his nature. He was brought up by his mother and grandmother, and now Paul was taking the place of the father to him because his father was a Greek and no information was given to him. But he was brought up well by the mother and grandmother in faith in Christ. Now, uh, Paul is in this statement, Paul is making the three first negative statements because Paul, Timothy is naturally timid in nature. But to urge that, um, Paul is making a negative statement first, um, and then he's following, following it by the three positive ideas. Um, what are the three first? Um, the positive ideas are um, um, first negative statement is you should not be covered um, and you should be uh, positive ideas are power love and self-discipline are good judgment um, apparently paul felt that his young colleague needed to have this courage and strength and uh, courage strength and because um, uh, urged him not to be ashamed to testify about our lord nor for uh, his, his imprisonment also because the aged paul was now a prisoner of the emperor nero and was facing almost certain death um, timothy must not be so fearful as to be ashamed to visit Paul in his prison. He has to go and visit Paul. He should not be afraid because we, if, we, if we think that um, he go and visit Paul, um, the, 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 the Emperor Timothy also put him in the prison and kill him. All the situations are there only, but he is not afraid of the circumstances. Um, God, God is telling which circumstance are you now? Are you facing a great um, um, worst circumstance in your life and you are very afraid to face that circumstance? God is telling you, uh, God is urging you, be strong in the Christ. Um, uh, in this situation also, testify about to a lot Jesus Christ. Don't be ashamed that you are in that tough situation because you are the people of God. Sometimes um, we have to face the tough, tough situation because again Timothy 1.8 says so never be ashamed to tell others about our Lord or ashamed about your imprisonment my imprisonment. Instead by God's power, join me in the suffering for the sake of good news. So don't be afraid or don't be shameful about your situation. Uh, join in Christ. Join in the people of God who do the God's ministry and be brave and courageous and face the situation. But because Paul is giving uh, two examples to the to Paul, uh, to the Timothy, one example is certain people deserted him, and another example is certain people accepted him, befriended him. Who are the people who deserted him? Like the, for example, Paul did ministry in Ephesians, the third missionary journey for about three years. He stayed there. Nobody people know about him. All are well friendly with him. When they all came to know that he was imprisoned, but imprisoned in by, by in Rome by a great emperor Nero, every people deserted him, especially Pygelius and Hermogen. Yes, um, that's what Paul, Paul is telling. Don't be like Pygelius and Herbigilius. Um, they left me uh, because they are afraid of my imprisonment. Um, but we should be like another person who is called Onesiparas. Um, Onesiparas means help bringer. Not only Onesiparas, the entire family had to, uh, took care of me when I was in the Ephesians. Now also, uh, when, uh, when I'm in prison, he searched, he came to Rome, he searched hard for me and found me and helped him, helped me. So he, he, he like Onesiparas, you have to come and visit me and help me. Don't be like him. Um, don't be like a Pygelius and Hermogenius. 
but we like to understand for us and his family that's what paul urging um, timothy to be a, a strong uh, to be to, to face the situation uh, bravely we need a strength from from, uh, from grace of god if you rely on the grace of god you can really face a situation bravely if you rely on your own strength certainly you run away from the situation you want to you won't face it you want to run away from the situation and uh, paul is urging the three symbol for the christian to face the problem bravely the first uh, metaphor is a soldier second timothy 2 3 and 4 says um, as we are like um, uh, we are having the spiritual warfare we are like a soldier waging a war against them um, the spiritual uh, against the spirit of the spiritual realm during that warfare we may face pain and suffering so don't be afraid don't run away from this warfare be like a soldier uh, because um, join me in the suffering like a good soldier of christ uh, whoever serve in the military does not get mixed up in the non military activities don't get mixed up in the non military activities stay in the military activities and face the situation face the warfare even though you face pain and suffering because i am facing it that's what um, paul is telling to mati and paul is telling to, to me and you also we are we face we are we are waging a warfare against evil so that uh, warfare we may face also suffering and pain but we should not uh, uh, get mixed with not military activities um, second metaphor is that the athlete um, the, the goal of athlete is to receive the victory victor's crown only goal is you have to attain the crown nothing that for for, for winning that crown uh, he has to uh, run compete the uh, race according to the rule the same thing for all the, you also um, you are on the, you have to get um, the victory crown when christ jesus christ come in the secret coming for that you have to run the race uh, according to the correct doctrine follow the correct doctrine and not the wrong doctrine and the moreover you have to do a strict strict training like intense devotion and self discipline and that is what the, the athlete is doing to get the worldly crown we have to get the eternal crown for that we have to be have go, go through a strict training intense devotion and firm discipline if you have if you don't be a firm discipline in your prayer prayer life be a bible reading and confessing the promise certainly you will run away from your problem you won't face it the third thing metaphor is a farmer and like the christian minister also compared to the farmers because he must first show the seed and cultivate the growing seed it will take its own time if during that time uh, it emphasizes hard working and diligence also so when you are facing the problem face it uh, bravely don't expect the result immediately uh, confess the word of the god and wait upon the god and god will give you this uh, good harvest to you also because the hard working farmer should have the first share of the crop certainly god will give the first share of the crop so if you don't um, and now let us face the circumstance bravely because we know that second timothy 1 7 says god did not give us a cowardly spirit but a spirit of power love and good judgment i want to pray for you thank you lord thank you for this revelation my lord because we are here after we won't uh, we will face the problem bravely and we won't act cowardly because you have given us the spirit of power love and good judgment thank you lord in the name of jesus amen god bless you